tips, what are you doing today? I don't know. One of the things I wanted to do today, I'll show you one of the parts I got. I ordered a brand new EGR valve for it. Um, we're gonna put that in today. Um, but I'm also waiting for, um, it should be coming in today, is the uh, EGR feedback sensor. So that should be coming in. And then we're gonna test the actuator to make sure the actuator works. So, that's what we're working on today. I would also like to try and find the oil leak that this thing has. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's got an oil leak and it's bad. So it looks like it's coming from somewhere on the top of the engine, but I can't see it because there's all kinds of crap here and the oil leak is in this area. So I want to find that. Uh, also, just real quick, I want you guys to look around. We're down a vehicle. I got rid of the Honda. <laughs> I, got, I don't need three vehicles. So, I got this one, the truck. I got two, basically two trucks. Um, we got the one that's, that's going to be back to being the daily. Um, this one here. I've actually been driving it all around town yet, today and, and yesterday and it was doing fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's all right. Just don't try and pass anybody. You won't. You won't. They won't do nothing. Um, you got to go downhill. I think that there's something. Something with that EGR is causing the engine to be running a lack of power. Also, the injectors probably don't help. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be working over here. I kind of want to move this a little bit closer, but it's not going to rain today. So and we got new neighbors uh, next to me now. In case you guys haven't noticed, so I'm just gonna get this little wire, these wires out of my way. Okay, and that just rips right out of there, you know, like normal. Old tape. I I need to get a voltmeter so I can test my TPS. This thing will sometimes will randomly stall. You like just barely touch the pedal, it'll just shut right off. So I wonder if this TPS is going bad. But I have a new one of these going on the way. Coming on the way. So just, to, just so we know, our reference is this pipe on the left hand side and then on the right hand side is our other pipe. And these are just a little loose. And it looks like they're two different sizes. Probably gonna go run to the store and uh, get a new set of hoses. Uh, let's see. I wanna get these screws out, pull this off and set it aside. And then, looks like it's held on by one, one bolt. So get that bolt out of the way and we'll just get this set aside. And we're gonna work on the EGR. Snaps off. Like, well, I have brackets not going back on. It's one of those things where you're trying to do a good job and it, stuff just breaks and then you lose your, um, kind of lose that meticulousness. You get to a point where you're like, well, you know, what's the point of trying? Well, that's been out before. You need a towel. I'm just gonna kind of get some stuff out of my way slightly. Oh, I just like how the cruise control works on this thing. It's awesome. See, so is it the same size? No. That's a half. I bet you it's a 12. Get that with a 716th. Fuck no. Did I just say 716th? That works. 
that does not work. Well, I need this anyways. It's free. So I just like how I bled the brakes on this thing. And they're still, still squishy. I have that tool bag to get out of my way. Yeah, somebody was in here. Somebody put a new EGR valve in here at one point. Okay, and now we have the mystery fastener. That's probably a socket that doesn't exist. So one thing about these older Fords, they uh, really, uh, really like their mystery fasteners. Oh, thank God it's an 8mm. It's a 6, 8.5mm, you know, I like that. I've had people gripe at me for doing stuff like this where you remove this little bracket just to get it out of your way, you know, and someone's like, well, you don't have to do that. It just starts yelling. You know, driving this thing around, it's like, you know, I like it and all, but we got, we got it's some improvements have to be, have to be made. You know, the transmission is, is going to be the first thing. I think I'm going to do that first. And then, if I can find the big oil leak and, and fix, fix, then I'll hold off on pulling the engine. Because I actually, what I like to do is make this, like, not exactly a winter project. I probably said that that's what the plan was. But, you know, plans change. Oh, hey, check that out. Just pull this off of here. Yeah. Broken line. That's probably why is it code for the EGR valve. So we'll have to find where this line goes to okay it goes to the top there I can pull on it I'm gonna clip a little bit off and I'm probably gonna get a piece of vacuum line and just stick it on the end here and then or stick it on here and then route it over okay so that's probably what our code was it was probably trying to actuate yeah that was probably giving us a vacuum leak Okay, well that gives you, ah. Yep, so tubes, we're gonna take shit apart. I was looking at a header kit, um, but I was, I'm indecisive of which brand to get because they both seem kind of mediocre based on the reviews. So um, if anybody on here has used one of those kits, like the Headman headers or the Pace Setter, <laughs> if anybody used those on this thing, please let me know. I would like to get a, I do want to get a header kit. That's one at one point or another I would like to get a header kit so now that looks like that switches to a 10 mil so I have a 10 mil readily accessible you know it takes a little longer for it to start you know it's like da -da 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 -da, and, then it, and then it goes okay good somebody's been in here and they put anti-seize on it and that anti-seize hasn't become an issue now on my 95 you go and watch that video I did, and I'll post a link to it. I did the EGR valve on it, and I've gotten almost 200,000 views out of that, that video. A lot of people kind of griped at me for not showing this nut part. This nut's right here. The other one, I couldn't even see where it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. And that one was like thread by thread. Wait till this is a manual and get this, this kick down cable, it won't be a thing anymore. Should be down. I'd, I'd blow through it, but um, I don't want to get, I don't want to look like the Tin Man. They're identical, just about the same. Oh, yeah, not stock. It's not really doing anything, is it? It is. Clean off the old 
crap. This is where you realize that you should have just left the bolts loose. too tight and you're like, I need a hydraulic press to get it off. Tink! Sometimes pipe fittings don't tighten them down too much, you'll crack the casting. Done that before. All the plastic lines on that freaking thing were just busted to hell. So I went and bought some of this, uh, what size is this? Uh, 332nds? 316ths outside diameter. I just went to the hardware store and got this. <clears throat> it's close enough. I did have to fight to get the old pieces out. All I did is I put it under uh, the, the sink, got it real nice and hot, and uh, <clears throat> just kind of moved these around and it ended up busting the uh, bond. So I got all the rubbers back on there. And then, let's see, this went like that, and then this went up to the intake. This came in here like that. Okay, so there. Should be able to plug that right back in, and then this will go back into the UGR valve. That's fixed. So that was causing a vacuum leak, pretty bad one. about the same. Does it stumble? <laughs> yes, it still stumbles. There's the possibility of the clogged fuel filter. I can't get under this thing. So you guys are gonna look up in here, tell me what you see. It's probably gonna need a uh, fill filter. Good God, look at that mess under here. Look how much oil it drips. Hubs are locked. I don't think I've ever had a Ford do this. So look at look at how look at up look at the mess. Oh dude, it's bad. It's not bad on that side. And it's horrible on this side. Look at it. It's just wet. Look at that. It's all wet. I think it's that main seal. Oh, my problem is... 
is that there's there's oil leaking it's coming down from that hose dripping on the lower heater hose oh I think he's, his transmission's blown Transmission go out. The hell is that all about? <laughs> Somebody put anti season on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, somebody's been in here. And I don't think it was my friend. Maybe a shot replaced the alternator. It half fit really good on there. Nope. Get off there. Let's get that out of there. Alright. This is where I don't get it. So we're we're all wet. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think we needed. Uh, so I should probably work, replace the water pump, anyways. So basically, what we need to do is um, huh, shitty. So it looks like this is what I'm seeing. We need to pull this fan and water pump and everything needs to come out. And then what we need to do is pull the front, pull the pulley off. I hope I don't need a puller for that. But then I need to come out and I think we're going to need to do this, this timing cover back here needs to get, needs to get resealed. That's what's leaking. So it's, when it runs, the, the, the chain is slinging oil up against this side. Or, well, the side that's leaking. And then it's just, it's just kind of seeping out. Otherwise, the valve covers, they're a little moist, but they're not, they're not as wet as this down here. Yeah, so, that's unfortunate. I don't think we need to worry about valve covers. We have to do... The front, front half. Okay. I can't take it, I gotta go fast. He's actually not going that fast. That guy's gonna pass him. What else do I need to get out of the way? Yeah, it must be, so I think that's the temp sensor for Probably the gauge, and then you have this one, which is probably going to the computer. Where are the injectors? Oh, I see them. Well, I don't know, tubes. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. I'm getting a little tired. Free vehicles, huh? John Fox will tell you all about it. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know John Fox, go check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So. 
He's got a free project truck just like me. So yeah, go ahead and check out John Fox. So when I'm not working on my free project truck, you can go watch him work on his free project truck. <laughs> <sighs> I'm done.